please register your AC controller and motor at ecobattery.com to activate your full warranty. The serial numbers on the components are easier to read when not installed. This video covers the Club Car DS installation of the EB Power AC controller and motor. Remove the batteries from the cart before you start your installation. Support the cart with jack stands, placing them under the frame. Support the rear differential with a floor jack. Remove the lower shock hardware and the lower rear spring shackle bolts. Lower the rear differential. Loosen the motor cable bolts. Disconnect the motor speed sensor, if applicable. Remove the motor cables from the motor. Remove the motor bolts. Remove all cables and wires from the stock controller and solenoid. Remove the stock controller and solenoid. Remove the motor. Apply a small amount of grease to the differential input shaft. Install the motor on the differential. Install the provided motor hardware. Torque to 10 foot pounds or 120 inch pounds. Install the provided high current motor cables on the corresponding color-coded motor terminals. Torque the terminal hardware to 8 foot-pounds or 96 inch-pounds. Install the protective boots. Raise the rear differential and reinstall the shackle hardware. Reinstall the shock hardware. Route the motor cables towards the battery compartment. Remove the FNR lever and associated wires. Remove any remaining cables from the battery compartment.
Remove the two dash screws. Pull the dash panel back. Remove the wires from the key switch, reverse buzzer, and factory SOC meter. Disconnect the factory throttle connection from the V-Glide or M-Core. Remove the factory wiring harness. Locate the controller mounting plate and hardware. Some carts will not utilize the flat mounting plate as shown and will only need the cast controller plate for installation. Place the mounting plate on the passenger side of the cart as shown. Use the controller mounting plate to mark and drill the four quarter inch holes. Install the four M6 bolts and nuts. Install the controller bracket using the M5 hardware. Install the provided high current motor cables on the corresponding color-coded controller terminals. Work the terminal hardware to 8 foot-pounds or 96 inch-pounds. Install the tow run switch bracket using the provided hardware as shown. Locate the Eco battery harness. Route the harness through the battery tray towards the front of the cart as shown. Connect the main harness connector to the controller. Make sure that the connector snaps in completely. Route the harness up to the dash. Plug in the throttle connector. You may need to use one of the provided throttle adapters for this step. Secure harness to chassis with zip ties. Locate the key switch adapter. Plug the adapter into the harness. Install the ring terminals on the key switch. Install the reverse buzzer wires. Note the positive and negative orientation. Connect the tow run switch adapter to the harness. Connect the tow run jumper to the harness. Route the tow run wires through the switch bracket. Connect the tow run switch wires to the tow run switch. It does not matter which terminals you connect the wires to, as long as they are in line vertically when holding the switch upright. Connect the motor encoder and temperature sensor cables. In the following steps, we will show the installation of the optional charger mounts. Use the charger mounting plate to mark and drill the four quarter inch holes. Install the mounting hardware. The first option shows mounting the charger directly to our DS mounting plate. The second option utilizes one of our universal mounting plates with our charger and 12 volt converter. Both plates can be purchased as an add-on through your preferred eco battery dealer. Install the positive battery cable labeled to solenoid on the solenoid. Torque terminal hardware to eight foot pounds or 96 inch pounds. Plug in the solenoid harness labeled to solenoid. 
Plug the pink wire from the tow run switch to the pigtail on the high current cable on the solenoid. Install the negative battery cable labeled to controller B negative on the controller. Torque terminal hardware to eight foot pounds or 96 inch pounds. Install the positive battery cable and any associated cables on the positive battery terminal. Install the negative battery cable and any associated cables on the negative battery terminal. Torque to eight foot pounds or 96 inch pounds. Connect the DC to DC reducer harness into the reducer. Cut the ring terminal off the yellow 16 gauge wire and install the provided quarter inch female spade connector. Connect the yellow wire to the pigtail coming off of the positive battery cable. Cut the ring terminal off of the black 16 gauge wire, smaller of the two black wires, and install the five millimeter male bullet connector. Connect the black 16 gauge wire to the pigtail coming off of the negative battery cable. Cut the ring terminal off of the orange 16 gauge wire and install the provided four millimeter bullet connector. Connect the orange 16 gauge wire to the KSI-DC to DC trigger wire. Connect the CAN harness labeled CAN to battery to either of the CAN ports on the battery meter cable. The white four pin Molex connector is unused at the moment and does not need to be plugged into anything. Connect the red positive and black negative 12 AWG wires to the input side of your cart's 12 volt system. Tidy all connections. Your final step is to connect to the EB Power app and tune your cart. The link to the app instructions can be found in the video description below. Your installation is now complete. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to our support team Details can be found in the video description. Thank you for supporting EcoBattery.